All right, back to the Furry IRL stuff. Has it almost been a year since I started doing these? I think it might have been. I think it has been like a year now. That was. I. <laughs> That, that was definitely interesting, what the hell? This might actually be the first time I've been caught off guard by a video like this. Usually these kind of furry jokes are just kind of dumb. It's definitely a dude. 100% a dude. Oh no! Rest in peace, North Carolina people. They no longer have access to the best site on the internet. You know, I've seen a couple posts like this, and every time I see a post like this, it's like, why did you not wait? until you moved out to get that kind of stuff like I don't, I don't get although to be fair they are on vacation so it very clearly could have just been a simple case of their mom just checking up on the house because i know my parents because we have pets have someone frequently come over to the house just to deal with the pets when we're on vacation because often we go to spots where we can't bring the pets along so it could have very well just been one of those situations but if it wasn't and it was the other thing i was thinking it's like why why would you not wait till you moved out that's what i'm doing Does anyone ever see videos like this and just wonder why? I would be like terrified of doing something to this, like this, to a fursuit like this, because that's clearly a very expensive fursuit. And it's like, what if the cheese, like, parts of the cheese, like, stick to it and like it becomes impossible to come off, and then you do finally get to come to come off, and it like smudges. It's probably very easy to clean off. It definitely is very easy to clean off, but still, just why? This is absolutely something I do to my friends. <laughs> I need a zombie apocalypse to start up now, specifically so I can use this joke. I've seen a couple of these kind of comics, I don't get it. This probably isn't even- there probably isn't even really like a joke to this, I just... I don't know. Ah, abs! That is just not what I felt like seeing today, wow. <laughs> you know, it, it's a fucking furry page of course you're gonna find shit like that dumbass i don't i don't i probably should have expected finding a buff toothless on this site at some point like i, I don't know why it just never was thinking that would show up and now here i am shocked it happened and i'm like why am i shocked i don't know i shouldn't be shocked honestly uh oh smoking dragon why do you need a lighter you literally don't need a lighter you <laughs> What was the point of the lighter? <laughs> I don't get it. He clicked the lighter three times. Put the lighter down and then just... <laughs> what was the point of the lighter? <laughs> hey, they almost they almost got a Rick roll, but they missed one word. So they got never gonna give up, but there's no you anywhere. So I don't... Th I, this, is, this was an unsuccessful Rick roll and therefore doesn't count. I don't get it. I feel like I should understand this, but I don't. And it's not that I see don't see what the difference is. I can see what the difference is. I just don't understand what this is like in relation to. You know, this this is the exact this is something I'd prob this is a situation I'd probably be in as well. I don't know why it took me so long to say that. Whenever I get grab a water bottle from downstairs, for some reason I always immediately put it in my pocket and then we'll forget to go back upstairs and we'll just be walking around with it in my pocket. It's really dumb now that I'm saying it out loud. I mean I don't know how I didn't realize that was dumb before saying it out loud, but it's it's yeah. Wasn't this guy on that weird dating show with the button in the middle? And he got like rejected immediately in the first one and then on the second one he actually had a decent conversation. I'm pretty sure it's the same guy again. Getting a lot of like repeat ones. I've seen this dragon one before. I didn't see it like when I was going through I saw it when I used to watch um, Beta Eight of Delota do videos on this subreddit, and he still does, and I still watch him from time to time. But I think now that I've started covering the subreddit as well, I've been watching those less because it's like I don't want to see some of these posts early and then not be able to react to them properly when I come across them again and whatnot because he always somehow manages to post his videos right before I go to record my own. My friend on Discord has like a short- I don't- 
They say they don't have a fursona, but they definitely are wanting to make a shark fursona because it's like their whole Discord profile right now is 100% revolved around sharks. I feel like they probably wouldn't approve of this. <laughs> I don't know, if we ever meet IRL, I might try this. I don't think that'll really ever work out though because they're on the opposite side of the world. I'm, I'm scared to click the next page over. I'm not gonna lie, I actually didn't think that's where that was going. Blood to the Toothless one. I don't know why I didn't expect that's where it was going. I should have. I should have known. Like, literally right away. But I didn't. You know, this is one thing I actually didn't really think about with every single time the question of, like, what I would do with my persona. When my- what? Like, it would be impossible to really pick anything up for most personas, actually. Like, horse personas, deer personas, all of those kind of personas literally wouldn't be able to pick anything up because they have hooves. They wouldn't have, like, any fingers or anything like that. <laughs> I bet you the word means something else. Time to search it up. <laughs> Am I about to be disturbed? I'm absolutely going to become disturbed in a sec. Okay, it's just a stupid or- what? I, I can't read that second word. Vulgar slang. <laughs> you know, because of how bad I am at reading, like, or I guess just recognizing certain expressions, like, I probably would see this and just move on and it wouldn't click at all what it was supposed to imply. It's just, like, it literally would just be like, oh, they're looking at me, okay, weird, and then just move on. Like, <laughs> it's like I don't know. I literally wouldn't do anything. That's <laughs> that's why I can't react to some of these because I literally my response is always so boring. It's just nothing. I wouldn't do anything. <laughs> oh, another one of these where I get to say probably nothing. <laughs> See the other issue now with the other one, it was just a simple I wouldn't do anything because what the their face was implying wouldn't like click in my head at all this one is i wouldn't do anything because it's like and i think this is actually what gets me in trouble sometimes is my ex anxieties and stuff make it very hard for me to say like no to things or to like call someone out for things so in this particular situation i'd be like flipping out in my head like what the fuck and then meanwhile i wouldn't actually be able to say anything just be like mm, okay because my anxiety is like, oh, they're gonna be upset with you if you say anything. <laughs> it's so, it's so bad. And it's something I definitely need to get over because it's absolutely something that's gonna end up getting me in a ton of trouble in the future. <laughs> oh my god, I forgot. The stress ball in this video exploded, so I was really caught off guard by that. So I'm, rec I'm recording this a little bit later than usual, so I'm a bit in a bit more of a giggly mood. So I feel like I'm laughing at a lot more of these this time around, which probably is good for the video, but... This reminded me of a uh, thing that happened at my past job as a ride operator at the small theme park that was more that was primarily sort of aimed at like younger kids like and they have this big fun slide there you know those giant slides with the three humps and there's this one kid that came up there he had to have been like 13 got on the slide and just refused to go down <laughs> it was like I was trying not to get annoyed but it's like, how, how are you so terrified of the fun slide at that age? And eventually he got sent down, and throughout the day, he came back up like four different times. Didn't go down the slide a single one of those times. Every single time ended up, well, I ended up needing to tell the person at the bottom of the slide, don't send anyone else up because someone's coming down. I, I, I was trying so hard not to get annoyed. I absolutely would pick the thighs route. I don't know, I'm just not very interested in the, um, muscular body stuff. I thought I, I, t I thought I had more to say about this, but I don't. So now I'm just gonna just try and awkwardly transition onto the next thing, as I do with literally everything. Is this North Carolina? <laughs> I made a joke about this in my health class. My health teacher made the mistake of putting us into groups and being like, Okay, 
So we're going to give you some cards. Basically, these cards are going to be like where you personally think these different things would lay when you like first meet someone to like post marriage, basically. <laughs> so one of the thing, one of the cards was oral sex. <laughs> And so we lined it up, we had the lineup, so like, in order from first meeting to marriage, post-marriage, and I jokingly slid the oral sex card under first meeting, and everyone at my table lost it. It was the only time I ever was actually funny to other people in public, and made a joke in public, and I, it was one of the few times I actually felt good about myself and a joke I made in public. It was... The best moment of my life. <laughs> Yo, I'm on the top. Let's fucking go. I'm on top of furry society. I win. And spare him. Depends on- well, it depends on what was going on inside the town. If it's a town similar to where I live, like, yeah, spare him. That's fine. It's not that big a deal. But if it's like- if there was like, places actively doing like, really good things, uh, uh hmm. Probably still spare, but there needs to be some rehabilitation going on because... That, that's that's not very good. Oh my god, this <laughs> this is another thing my friend on Discord could probably relate to. I'm gonna actually have to, I'm gonna screenshot this and send it to them. Honestly, seems like a reasonable offer. Anyways, I think this is where I'm gonna end up. I've been going for a little while now. So yeah, hope, hopefully this one isn't too uh, short or anything. Oh, hiccups, man.